Oh, I would slap the sh out of you about that, right? And then we could fight, but that's not the reason I'm saying that. So I'll be wrong if I, I'll be wrong to handle my business then, right? But nobody knew that gunplay was recording. That is a fact. Hey, yo, this is wild. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. As some of you may know, Rick Ross and DJ Envy been having a go back and forth going on, promoting their car show. You know, they've been talking slick about each other, you know, in hopes that, you know, gets people talking and whatnot. I ain't gonna lie, Rick Ross been a little funny lately, calling Envy a brass monkey and DJ Envious and all that. You know, that's expected, but anyway, you know, uh, DJ Envy had clapped back at him and had mentioned like, yo, didn't your artist have to have a GoFundMe because he was having problems? You know, basically saying like, yo, Ross, you don't even take care of your people type ish, right? And so Gunplay, he took offense to that and he called DJ Envy up privately and had a private conversation with him. Loki trying to G-check him. I ain't, I have a problem with Envy apologizing, but if I was Envy, I definitely wouldn't apologize again over it because in all retrospect, like, Envy didn't even mention, all he said was didn't your artist have financial issues with the situation lately. He didn't name nothing about the kid, he didn't say nothing bad about the kid. Gunplay know who he can get that off with, so that's all that boils down to. But yeah, it was a private phone conversation, and in the state of Florida, you know, recording phone calls is illegal. You know, I'm from Ohio where you can do that, you know, there's no legal troubles behind it. But anyway, the phone conversation leak, you know, Envy at Warren Gunplay, like, yo, he can't be doing stuff like that. You know, I wasn't too mad at that. Hey, it is what it is. But Gunplay took it a step further and sent a cease and desist letter to DJ Envy because his wife or girlfriend is supposedly, you know, he said he got a PhD in criminology or something. I don't know. I guess he's a lawyer, but the name is Be Humble, which I thought was funny. But I do think this is extremely whack, though, because... Imagine if rappers start suing each other every time they had beef with each other. Like to me, that's lame. Like that's like if I threaten you and have a diss track and then you sue me for it later. Like yo, a part of the game is that, and I'm a little disappointed in gunplay as I expect a lot more from him, especially you know being a quote unquote gangster rapper and all that. You know, so I, I ain't like this move. You know, if he's just trolling, hey, you know it's funny, but I don't think he is. I think he dead serious. You know, he since then deleted the post from Instagram. But let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.